the most powerful weapon available for a child of God is prayer. If we will cultivate the habit of prayer, miracles will become day-to-day -day lifestyle. If you don't want to struggle in life, learn to pray. God created the whole world through prayer. As it were. The Hebrew language has 22 letters. And the nature of it is this. It has pictograph or pictography. For example, when you say tough, tough means cross. So the picture is when you see cross, you are talking about tough. And there's a letter in these 22 alphabets we call it pay. Pay means math. And, then, and, and not just math, a math that is moving up and down, a math that is opening, a math that is speaking, a math that is talking. You should remember that we are like God. In two ways. Number one, God is a spirit, so He has given us His spirit. Therefore, we are like Him. That is why God is very, very interested in man. The physical sense. Because we have blood in us. If you hear, if you're here and you're called men, it's a short form of kidmatin, the likeness of God. You are like God. Men, when you buy a car, they give you one. What is the use of it? Yeah, man, you are right. Man, no, man, man, you are right. What is the use of money? Give you information about what? So human beings carry the information of God, our thinking, our walking, the way we do things. We are like Kidimatenu. Decided to create the heavens 
and the earth. Apart from using the physical hand on human beings, all other things were called by God. So God saw that we needed water. He said, water, come! Water came. God saw that when we are growing, it will be better for us to eat fish. So that we we'll get an eatery, am I right? God. You don't have because you don't ask. God has because he asks.
for anybody. The reason is this. If you have time to study about this godly man, Jehoshaphat, if everybody, if anybody were to go through troubles, you shouldn't have been this man. He practiced righteousness. In his time, he made sure that the law was available for all men and women to read in order to know God. He came from a godly family. The father was from Asa. He brought revival to Israel. He told the people, we are the descendants of Abraham. We are not supposed to watch these small gods. And he broke all the altars and gave the nation to God. Amen. And God blessed his people. Amen. Joseph was a wise king, very humble. He practiced righteousness. And God expanded the nation. His life was doing well. If any time you have a righteous leader, pray for him or her. As he leads, God will bless his people. Amen. Then these people came together. All of them were brothers and sisters. You know what? Have you heard about Moabites before? Yes. You have to go to Genesis chapter 19. More from our father. Moabites were the sons and the grandchildren of uh, Lot. Because Lot slept with his own daughter. So maybe when she was interviewed, you, you are pregnant with who? Because that time all men were. I mean, because they won't obey God. It was difficult to get a man. And this lady was not ashamed of herself. And she said, Moab from daddy, from my father. Impurity, man. Very dirty. Then I'm nice. Second one. And God said, until the 10th generation, the Moabites and the Ammonites will never come to my presence. You are a case. And their brothers were the Unites, the Eastern people. They were all brothers. They were all sisters. They were all anchors. They were one people. And yet, they came together to attack Jehoshaphat because of his righteousness, because of his obedience to God, because he walked in holiness. You think everybody loves you? You were deceiving yourself. Oh. But if one of them in church, you were going to say, you were going to talk. Jesus more than anything on earth. Yeah. You know why he couldn't 
Spirit club, you are in your flesh, your carnality. The church is so carnal that we love brothers and sisters and sisters more than Jesus. But me, I love Jesus more than anything on earth. Because of that car. But if you are 
righteous person like Jehoshaphat, the more they hate you, the more God will stand for you. Oh my goodness. God will always stand for the righteous. The Bible said in Isaiah 54, verse 14, all to 17, now, I said, in righteousness, uh, you will be established. Yes. And no weapon, no weapon, yes. no weapon, yes. no attack, uh, yes. no disease. Uh, yes. God said, no weapon. Our fashion against you shall prosper. I, God, will condemn it. That is my hope. That is my inheritance. That is my joy. If I want to look at me, I have nothing to boast about apart from my Jesus. Maybe you they said, Joshua, what are you going to do? Have you ever come to a place where somebody look at your son and say, hey, your son is about dying. You will take him to hospital. As if you don't know hospital. <laughs> now the report says what? There is no time to waste. They are already at Hazazon. Um, the oasis of NGD. Hazazon Taman is NGD. NGD was a place where they were when to hide when, when Saul was hiding him, when Saul was chasing him, you know, they have gold there, white gold there, they have water, so you would have to maybe they hid there and plant their wicked deeds to attack the Hosafat. Because of one righteous man, many nations have come together. And you want to joke with your Christian life. See, if you want to enjoy the Bible, read it verse by verse. It's, the Bible is the most beautiful book I've ever come across. It's, it's so beautiful. But just that we rush. Now, let's look at verse 3. You will love it. When you look at verse 3, some of you will clap your hands. He said, shaking. Shaking. Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat prayed. He went to God for help and order a nationwide fast. Are you going to pray for? Are you going to clap for Jehoshaphat? Are you going to clap for him? Your wife look at you and say, Daddy, I've seen that today, these days we have financial problems. These days we argue too much. These days we don't go to God's house. These days, my children are not performing well in school. Let's take three days fast and pray. What a woman. God's the woman. Godly pastor will tell the children we are fasting today. We are praying today. Today, when we go to church, we will give money. We say, let's call for prayer. Jehoshaphat was afraid. I don't know what you have heard. Something is chasing you. Maybe you are afraid of something. You are afraid of a diker. School fees. You are afraid of that sickness. You are afraid. You look at your daughter and say, there is no hope. You are afraid. You are lying. You are lying. We serve a God who is a professor and very powerful in impossibility. Amen. I said, there is power in prayer. Amen. Thank God this man went to God for help. Yes. You, you are posting because your son is in UK. Oh, my daughter, my daughter is a doctor at Canada. Yoshua said, I will go to God for help. Do you go to God for help? 
look to God for strength? When everything is bad, it is my husband, it is my wife, it is my children, it is my pastor. That's why some of you are changing churches. You are running from church to church to see a prophet, from a prophet to a prophet. That's okay. I mean, I don't have any problem. You can go ahead. Your servants went to God for help. Me, 
small problem. 